Hey everybody, today I'm testing out a new smart EV charger from Nersvi. We're gonna get everything out of the packaging and take a look at all the components up close, and then we're gonna test it out with my Kia EV6. So taking it out of the packaging, it does come with a connector and cable mount, mounting hardware and a manual. And then looking at the unit itself, the connector feels decent quality. It comes with a dust cap. The latch mechanism isn't the strongest, but it does work fine. I'd say average quality here. Looking at the NEMA 1450 plug, this does look good. And looking at the cable specifications, it is using 9 gauge wiring rated for 105 degrees Celsius, which is typical. Now looking at the controller, you can see the specifications on the side here. You'll notice no UL or ETL logo, unfortunately, so it doesn't have either of those safety certifications. But it does look good. Taking off the plastic, it's a nice gloss black finish and it has an LCD screen here. And there's also a shutoff button on the side. Looking at the cable to the J1772 connector, again, we have nine gauge wiring rated for 105 degrees Celsius. Now let's go test it out. All right, so I have it mounted and plugged in and it looks good. I'll go ahead and plug it into my car. And that is a good connection. And you can use the RFID card or the app to start charging. And there we go. It's ramping up the speeds. Looking at the car scanner data, it's showing 40.1 amps, but the car isn't pulling that yet. This is when I actually discovered my car pulls a lower amperage for the first three minutes of a charge. Now at three minutes, it's pulling the full amount and getting 9.4 kilowatts, which is what I'd expect from a 40 amp charger. So it's working well. Now this is a smart charger, so you can connect it to your phone using the Smart Life app. Once you add it, it'll install firmware updates and you can adjust the charging mode from real time, or you can do time of use charging. You can adjust the amperage, you can see charging history, that kind of thing, and it works very well. All right, now it's been a little over an hour, so let's see how it's doing. 76 minutes in, and it's delivered 11.6 kilowatt hours to the car, and it's still showing 9.37 kilowatts, so that's good. The car still shows 9.4 kilowatts. And the charge port temperature, the AC inlet temperature here, is only 141.8 degrees, and it's an 85 degree day, so that's great. We're nowhere close to overheating, so overall it's working well. Now for pricing, it's $299, which is a competitive price for what you get. 40 amp charging, a fairly long cable, smart functionality. Even though it doesn't have the UL or ETL certification, it does have various safety features built in to protect against things like over temperature, over current, over voltage, or short circuiting. And it does have a two-year warranty, which isn't the longest, but it is better than a lot of the more value EV chargers out there that only have a one-year warranty. And it does have an IP65 rating as well, so it can be used outside. So overall, it's a decent charger. If it had the UL or ETL certification, it'd be one of my favorites, though. But let me know what you guys think, and let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and be sure to subscribe for more content. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.